no time on the clock. I'm feeling like I got the rock. I'm feeling like I got the shot. I'm feeling like stuff with the train, man. I cannot be stopped. Man, I feel there's no time on the clock. I'm feeling like I got the rock. I'm feeling like I got the shot. I'm feeling like stuff with the train, man. I cannot be stopped. Man, I feel like I gotta be great. I feel like I got. So today I wanted to work on plyometrics, basically just implementing box jumps. The reason why I chose to do an exercise like this today, along with a couple other exercises you guys are going to see, is because I hate cardio. I hate running. The reason why I hate running is because it digs so much into my muscle density. Like my muscles are depleted once I'm finished jogging 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, if you really want to build lean muscle and, and you're concerned with just trimming and toning up and getting a little fat fat burned off of you I suggest you sprinting uh, and doing other exercises just uh, hit cardio or something like that because when you're doing these long runs and going on a bicycle and all these things man is digging into your muscle density and that's something that you do not want especially if you're trying to keep those gains so anywho uh, the box jumps. Okay, the biggest benefits of the box jump is that it improves your reaction of your fast twitch muscle fibers throughout the body. Um, this exercise, it requires your leg and core muscles to contract very quickly so you can generate a uh, maximum force with each leap. Uh, secondly, the landing phase, which is basically the deceleration phase, that's the most important part of a plyometric activity because it helps decrease the risk of injury and increase your ability to make sudden stops. Now we're talking about building size and conditioning. The higher and the more explosive you jump, the more muscle tissue is activated. So box jumps are great to round out your quads um, and it taps into some of the fast twitch muscle fibers that's not usually hit during leg presses and leg extensions. The deceleration phase also requires a tremendous amount of quadriceps strength in order to land properly. Now when we're, when we're doing these box jumps, we're not just sticking to landing, like really we're trying to land softly because it, it, it takes a little quad strength to learn how to land softly when you're jumping up and on top of a flat surface. Uh, you, it, it reduces injury when you learn how to land softly also. You're, you will feel some type of pain or discomfort. So make sure you land quietly and gracefully like a cat. Uh, also, when you land, you wanna make sure you land in a squatting position with your knees slightly above 90 degrees. Make sure your chest is up. You can hold it for two to three seconds. I can't lie, if you look at me in the video, I'm pretty much like drained because I started recording after a few sets already. So I'm just jumping right back into it and I'm not even holding it for three seconds like I should. Um, pardon me for my mistakes and bad examples. So don't follow that. Cause I'm great. Come on, chicks, the fillet. 